Hey guys, New Jersey Piper Pen here. Just wanted to do a tin opening today. I haven't done that in a while, but uh, I was able to pick up a couple of tents in Margate. So I was going to open one of those and give it a try this evening. This is billed as Esoterica's Best Full English, and it's comprised of Virginia, Oriental slash Turkish, and uh, Latakia. Now I've already opened this tin. Um, doing a bit of a reshoot, I wasn't happy with how it focused on the uh, tobacco before, so don't need to crack this, just going to open it right back up, and uh, you can kind of see how... Uh, how much it's kind of faded the paper already even though this is i believe from february so it's got a little bit of age on it but not too much The odors have kind of mellowed out some, but definitely pick up that Turkish and that Latakia seems to be the most uh, prevalent aroma going on here. And a um, little bit of smokiness, a little bit of barbecue, uh, but nothing too crazy. Forgive the jump, I'm just kind of messing with my camera trying to get it to uh, focus and give you a good view of those beautiful tobaccos. They smell really good. Moisture content's fairly high on this. So I'm probably gonna let it sit for 20 minutes or so. Don't want it to get too dry. But I can tell if I smoked it like this, it would probably definitely be producing lots of uh, moisture in the pipe. But uh, yeah, looking good. All right, be right back. All right, guys. Out here enjoying a lovely twilight. Decided to pack the Margate in my LCS pot. A fine English tobacco with a fine English pipe. And the Margate is just very smooth. Um, I'd say very mellow. So when I hear that, uh, best full English that uh, gives me connotations of uh, something a bit stronger maybe a bit more body than this or perhaps I'm reading too much into the full designation but I, uh, overall it's a very easy going blend um, the smokiness of the Latakia is, I would say, a background component more than anything. And um, I think the predominant flavor component here is being driven by the Turkish more than anything, I think. Um, because again, the Latakia is definitely not a lap bomb um, you can tell it's there but it's uh, definitely understated and the Virginia flavor components are not in the forefront either they're definitely there too let's say as far as the components are concerned it's Turkish Virginia Latakia uh, in that order as far as what's sort of uh, driving the flavor of this blend
And though I did give this a, a good, at least 20, 25 minutes dry time, it was still pretty, uh, pretty moist to the touch. So probably could have let it sit out longer. Um, if not, I probably would have, uh, preferred a pipe with a, uh, narrower chamber. So I can't remember if I mentioned that earlier on when I was doing the uh, tin note, but this definitely reminds me of the Smokers Havens blends that are obviously made by the same company. There's just that essence in the odor that kind of has a background of licorice. That that's the the best descriptor I can think for it. Um, but it's it's here too, and that makes sense. And I don't know if it's coming from the air that's used to cure these tobaccos. I don't know if it's coming from the, the equipment they're using, the specific tobacco they're using. I don't know what it is, but it's it's like this common uh, aroma that's in, so far, this Margate, Smoker's Haven, our best blend, uh, Smoker's Haven in between, Smoker's Haven Exotic, and Smoker's Haven 20th Anniversary. Um, so yeah, it's interesting, but it's definitely there and it's reminding me of that for sure. But yeah, definitely just a smooth easygoing balanced blend um it's not not hitting me over the head with flavor um quality of the tobacco is undeniable i did find a couple of stems you know so i don't guess any company's immune to that but um you know i just did want to mention that i know uh, a lot of people complain about stems and other manufacturers blends but you know i found a couple in this tent already just from the top layer of tobacco I pulled out to dry. See, that's interesting. Same, same sort of take home that I'm going to have with the Smoker's Havens blends. Um, exotic is definitely in the lead still. Uh, I want to dip into those again, but I think I'm enjoying the exotic the most so far, but as with those and this one, I just really want to see what happens with a little bit of age. Um, as the tobacco's flavors sort of develop and, and do their thing, and as my tastes change. But, I mean, if you had to, you know, if you put a gun to my head and said, hey, Esoterica Margate or any of the Smoker's Havens blends I've tried so far or Mississippi River... I'm picking Mississippi River every single time and twice on Sundays. That's just what's happening right now. I don't, I can't really explain it, just being honest. But, um, you know, is it my lack of experience as a pipe smoker? I don't know. Perhaps. Um, yeah, it's interesting because, you know, people, these, these tins weren't cheap. These were 20 bucks on, uh, country squire um and people will spend spend a lot of money on like aged secondhand bags of esoterica and tens of esoterica um so it's 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 pretty interesting but yeah that's just kind of how i feel so far <laughs> All right. You guys have a great weekend. Be excellent to each other.